Hey Salem here and welcome back to another episode of Salem Survival. I am back in my world and as you can see I now have some glass panes on the wind as windows. Oh we got an egg. Thank you birdies. Oh and another one. Thank you very much. Um, but it looks so much nicer doesn't it? We've got a little bit of light in here and as an extra surprise for you guys I have been working over and up. Hello? Whoa! Whoa 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 whoa! What the heck? My hole. Whoa. Whoa. That wasn't very nice. I was just about to show everybody a nice surprise. I'm gonna die. No, I'm alive. I was about to show everybody a nice, nice surprise, and then you went and go and ruined it. Uh, where is my shovel? Don't hate me. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. We need to leave that, but maybe we should put some torches in there so the bad guys don't spawn. What is that? Skull minion orb. Okay, I guess that might be useful. Anyway, guys, I'm going to keep my head down because this is a little surprise for you guys. So back in Salem Survival, we ha officially have the Super Sub Spotlight. And this is a brand new, not so much improved, but um, a little area where I'm going to be shouting out you guys. Uh, so let's start with this week's Super Sub. Ooh, it's a blank canvas. That's because it's behind me, so you guys can't see it. <laughs> um, so, guys, in Salem Super Sub Spotlight this week, we have Cookie Draws. A cookie Draws follows me on Twitter and has sent me some beautiful artwork. And I've actually met her in person as well, which was really cool. And she's such a sweet girl. Um, but you may have seen her in the Super Sub Spotlight in the last season. Um, but she's been sending me some super, super, super cute artwork just lately, and I really Really, really love it so although she may have been a super sub before I can't quite remember I really wanted to just put her in the brand new series because I just her artwork has really made me smile just lately especially the one with me Rachel and Holly that was so cute <laughs> so thank you so much cookie drawers enjoy your time in my super sub spotlight sweetheart you absolutely deserve it so now getting on to more pressing issues what I thought we would do this week instead of going mining and doing caving horrible stuff because we're just likely to die um, I thought we would make ourselves a little aviary for the birdies um, because clearly they don't want to be cooped up in here the whole time that's not really very fun for them um, so we're gonna need we are gonna need wood that is what we are gonna need I think maybe willow wood maybe willow wood and we'll get some vines um and we, we don't have any moss stone yet because we haven't found a spawner um but actually what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna smelt this cobblestone and get some uh bricks actually because i think that would be quite nice oh my gosh i haven't even smelted my iron from last week that's not good friends it's not good uh where did i put my coal it's not in there it's not in there Wait, was that coal? No. No. Where have I put my coal? What have I done with that? Don't tell me that's all I had. That doesn't make any sense. Huh, we may have to go and grab some coal from the mine real quick. Um, so I take back what I said about mining, but this is going to be a super quick, super, super quick uh, journey over. And hopefully I can get myself some coal. <gasps> oh, this is a nice little cave. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Stop being evil. Oh, you are kidding me? Another one? What about... Oh, of course they're all bad guys. Wow. What about this one? No. No. Okay, these ones are good, so we'll, we'll just grab this as well, and then we'll head back home. I'll grab some coal, and then we'll go back home. There we go. Um, put that stuff away. Um, okay, so, if we... Ooh, a bottle of enchanting. Oh yeah, that was from my, uh, my death time. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, so we have some shears, so we'll go grab some uh, vines from the uh wait do willow have even have vines no they don't where can i get vines uh 
Okay, well, vines may have to wait. I mean, that's just a decorative thing anyway. And uh, we're going to make some stone bricks. Not many, not many, but uh, do we have any dirt? Huh, no, we don't. Right, let's take a couple of bits from here. There we go. I oh, will do this one as well, just because. So, to start with, I think we should have some stone bricks around... Uh, I think maybe just stone in the ground and then we can have it out like the rest of it could be uh, glass so you can see the stone because I'll, I'll keep the floor mostly grass because obviously they are uh, birdies they don't want to be walking around on stone all day um, we don't really want it any bigger than this but if we do get more birds, obviously we'll need more space. So we need to make it reasonably big. Maybe just here. And then when we've been to the nether, we could get some glowstone and it will look beautiful and I will love it. Okay, so we need to go to here. We're going to have enough stone. Yes, yes we are. So insides won't need to be done that much are you serious get out um because obviously we, we want to leave some flowers and stuff so i think maybe we need to use glass panes because glass panes just look nicer there we go that's a lot of panes <laughs> okay so we need to come up Huh, maybe we have, uh, should we go in a bit like that? Yeah, I think so. We need to leave a little gap for a doorway. Um, actually, but we will need wood for a doorway. Uh, so let's go ahead and get some wood. Actually, we should use a little bit of regular wood for the doorway, like, and then have some some of the regular stuff inside so we want a door one wait one two three if i put one there one two three yeah i think it's gonna have to be like that And then we'll go all the way around that. And look, they're in a little bit of shade as well. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is going to look so cute. You can have a little waterfall in there. I love it. And we can see them all the time as well, which is awesome. So I'm going to uh, carry on doing this, guys. And I'll be right back with you because this is going to take a while to get it all on, like, in line. Right, so I've done the outside in the um, willow wood. Actually, do you know what? That doesn't match, so that's got to be changed. Uh, can we do it this way? No! Okay, right, that means that one's got to be changed then. Oh, hang on. Can that, is that even matching? Well, just when you thought you got it right. Okay, that will do. Um, and what I think we should do is we should have it um, enclosed a little bit but then have some a little bit of an open top because obviously if we want other birds to come in and say hello we don't want them completely enclosed if they want to go around and fly around for a little bit then they can uh, let's put some random bits of wood in here and then what we'll do is we'll have this corner I think We'll have this as the little corner where they can take a little dip. We'll do that and then where's my water bucket? We'll put that there and hope it doesn't overflow. Oh, it doesn't! That's so cute! Okay, well maybe we could have it flowing a little bit. Just like that, just like that. Okay, I need to eat, I need to eat, I need to eat. All right, 
right, okay, so we could do a little bit of decoration in here when we get some clay. Um, but for now, do we have any, uh... What could we do? Maybe, maybe a little bit of stone around the top, maybe? Just to match the bottom? Let's see what that looks like. Uh, yeah, I think that would be fine. Then it matches, like, the base as well. So I'm gonna get the stone and finish that. Oh my gosh, I just had a sneeze like a minute ago. And I was like, kind of want to have a sneeze. And now my nose has got all stuffy. And make some stone. There we go. That should be good. Uh, right, birdies, you can come with me. This way, this way. And then let's see if you're going to follow. If, you, if you're enclosed, do you follow? Yes, you do. Uh, so let's take you into here. And how do you like your new enclosure, guys? How do you like it? Yeah, do you like it? We do. We do need a little bit of uh... right. Come here. Come here, you. Right in the door, you come. Good parrot. And you, friend. Come on. There we go. How do you like it? Get out of the floor. You. Come out of the floor. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think, guys? Get, can you come out of the floor because you're scaring me? Okay. I think you're just a bit glitched. Oh, look. I think they like it. Let's put this all the way around. And then we'll either leave it open. We'll see how they behave. And then if they decide they're going to fly around and escape... Uh, let me get that block, because that would annoy me. Um, if they decide they're going to escape, we might have to close it up. But right now, I think that's cute. We could do like a few little obstacles in here, so maybe some fences. Let's go get some fence posts. Rain, go away. No one likes you anyway. Go away. Right, there we go. So we have a door. There we go, we put some torches up here. And I will replace that with glowstone as soon as we actually get to a point where we can do that. I wanna put some torches around for you guys. I think maybe some tiki torches once we get some more materials for deco craft would be nice actually. Let's put in some little posts for you guys to sit on. And maybe another one over here. Overlooking the water. Oh, I like it. It's not quite finished, but I think for now, I think that's so cute, actually. I really like it. Do you like it, guys? Do you like it? I think they like it. Okay. Well, so far, guys, the only parrot that has a name is Polly. <laughs> um, so the others need a name as well. So if you want to suggest any names in the comments, you can go ahead and do that right now. So right now, guys, I'm going to take a little nap. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help support my channel. And I will see you in the next one.